Hello, I'm Nitesh, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up Time to Live or TTL for your Amazon DynamoDB table. Let's get started. To configure TTL for your DynamoDB table, first open the DynamoDB console. In the navigation pane, choose Tables and select the table you want to modify. On the Table Details page, under Additional Settings, choose Turn On for the Time to Live or TTL setting. On the Turn On Time to Live page, for TTL attribute name, enter an attribute name that matches an existing attribute in your table. Note that the name is case sensitive and the data type for this attribute must be a number that represents the expiration time in Unix epoch time format in seconds. If you want to preview your TTL settings, enter a date and time and then choose Run. The console will show a sample list of items that will expire based on the date you entered. Choose Enable to turn on TTL for this table. After you turn on TTL, any items with the specified TTL attribute are marked for expiration and might be deleted by the system at any time, typically within a few days of the expiration. Now let's go over some best practices for using TTL. One best practice is to use filter expressions to remove expired items from scan and query results that are pending deletion. This is useful in scenarios when expired data is no longer valid and shouldn't be used. If you don't use filter expressions, then the items continue to show in read and write operations until the background process deletes them. Because DynamoDB is schema-less, some items might not have the TTL attribute so the TTL process doesn't delete these items. To list the items with a TTL value, include a filter expression that checks whether the attribute exists. Finally, it's best practice to set the TTL expiration time when you create or update an item rather than using a fixed date. So that's how you set up TTL for your Amazon DynamoDB table. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.